Yes, I, I would like to hear about your experiences, and then we'll start from there. Sure. All right. Well, my experiences start at uh, a very early age. Mm -hmm. um, at the age of five, I knew that I was different. Mm -hmm. I was not like the rest of the kids. Again? I was, kids? Not, I was not like the rest of any okay. other kids in the world. All right. Uh, my dreams, my visions, that uh, sometimes that I hear the voice telling me not to do this or stop, oh, wow. don't, don't turn but to your right or left. Wow. I also was different, but there was no voice. I, um, I wanted to be loved, uh, and I was so open, I tried to share things with everybody. And I was speaking to strangers and trying to give things to people if they wanted those. And it was, uh, I was very surprised it wasn't taken. Because for me, it was absolutely natural, you know, to speak to everybody openly and to you know, th uh -huh. to speak up what I think and to, to give things, you know, if people wanted them. Uh -huh. but please continue. I was, uh, for the contrary, I was not uh, very open. Uh -huh. with the adults first uh -huh. because I was afraid mm -hmm. that they were going to say that I was crazy uh -huh. and I maintained my mouth shut for years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because, like, I, probably I put it in, your, in one of my statements on your website, uh -huh. my father at the age of two, he rejected me and he okay. said, and he told my brothers and sisters not to talk to me. So oh, wow. I was surrounded by silence. Oh, it was for real? Yes, I was for real. <laughs> wow. So I was so how, how, many, how many sisters and brothers you, you lived with? Uh, my brothers and sisters, they were not allowed to play with me. So... Uh -huh. how, uh, how, many, how many sisters and brothers? We are uh, four brothers five sisters. We're what a big country? family. Mm -hmm. What country was that? Mexico. Ah, in Mexico. Wow. Uh -huh. And there the parents are so authoritative that they can, ju can just prohibit other children to speak to you. That's, that's you know, unusual for me. But yeah, yes. I can be Yeah, my father was kind of a very, um, how can I say it? I mean, he, he was a doctor, okay, a very ah. renowned doctor, okay. very famous doctor, but okay. is she? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I am starting the recording. Okay, recording started. Um, so you're Begambilia. Yes, I am. Hello. When did you come up with this idea, I mean, to open your website, which is very yes. interested? Uh-huh. But yeah, in the evenings, when I fall asleep, I start mm -hmm. having, you know, those dreams, mm -hmm. and they help me to be the person that I am today. Okay. And, I, and, and if I tell you something, I truly thank my father, because things, the way that he is, he was with me, that opened me the door to help neglect the kids around the world. Oh, wow. So you're doing it for real? You're doing it in real life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. What do you do? I help children around the world. I sponsor them. Oh. Neglected children. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how how did it happen? How did What's it the happen? Mechanism? Yeah, what is the mechanism? How you can support children around the world? Well, I can send a letter, or uh -huh. if I can send them ten, fifteen dollars a month. Okay. If I can, okay. of course, if I can uh, um, have the money to do that. I but see. if I don't have the money, well, I go to the orphanages here in Tucson, okay. where I live. And I try to help them get, get cleaning the house or do something for them. Oh. Just to be close, you know. I understand. I have because, a friend. I have a... Okay, go ahead. Because kids, and it's because it's my own experience, 
like you said, you was uh, you have the thirst for someone to love you. Uh-huh. That is what happened with neglected children. They I need see. them feel to be loved. I have a friend who um, who is doing similar thing. She was in Russia. Uh, a Jew in Russia, uh, and she is like uh, a friend of my, um, a mother of my friend, so she is older than I. Uh-huh. And um, at some point, uh, orphanages in Russia are still pre- pretty bad. At some point, they were like really bad. It was like more like prison for children than than uh, than uh, help for them. Uh-huh. So uh, they were hungry and they were treated badly. So and um, Israel at that time was was uh, accepting orphan children and um, and there they had a very good life. Basically, they became free people and were loved, and they yeah. either went to families, but they were in again in orphanages, but cared much better. In Israel, children are treated really, really, really well. They they are most most respected there. So she would go to different. What uh, a place, huh? Or orphan houses, and she would um, take children and uh, send them to Israel, and that was, I guess, she found the money. It was funded by some okay. Israeli, Israeli organizations, so there was some 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 money for that. Uh-huh. But basically, in many cases, she would have to bribe the officials to let the people out, let the kids out, and sometimes she would sneak them out in a very inventive ways, and uh, that was supposed to be saving Jewish children, but uh, many of those children weren't Jewish, but because Israel su- supported that, they, they she was... Sh- what? Yeah. Da, so, yeah. So because that was supported, um, you know, she was able to save a lot of children who went to Israel, Russian children, uh, and uh, and live happy lives there. That is and they did it voluntarily. It wasn't, it wasn't that so they, they uh, you know, if they did, wouldn't want it, but, but Everybody wanted because the life in in the orphanages was was pretty bad, and and um, she continues doing that. But now it's it's much more restricted. But uh, she still is helping in, in, on other areas. And uh, by nature, she was uh, an entrepreneur, and uh, she would easily trick people or uh, make people do whatever she wants. She has a talent of convincing other people, and she used it for for best of you know for every very honorable purpose. Well, she's doing a wonderful job. Uh huh. I can tell you, I mean, kids in orphanages or in, like, I'm talking about my own experience. The first thing is, is jeopardized is your self esteem. Because yeah. you start blaming yourself, thinking that it's your fault that, mm-hmm. that all things happen. When he, that's why I never told my parents, and I never told my well, my brothers and sisters. They were not allowed to talk to me, but I mm-hmm. never talked to anyone about my visions, my uh-huh. dreams, and my encounters, because mm-hmm. my father was not going to hesitate to put me in a mental institution. All right, right. That's why I maintain my mouth shut. Very good. But. This, the dreams, um, the encounters, the vision didn't stop. Mm-hmm. So my psychic abilities with over the years mm-hmm. increased. Tell me some specifics. Tell me some uh, beings. Uh, you spoke to Yahweh, the Father God, right? Yes. Which which of the Yahweh is this? Yahweh. And, and he yeah. spoke to me. He started talking to one day. And this has mm-hmm. happened like a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. I was getting ready. I was already in bed trying to fall asleep. Mm-hmm. And I hear his voice. He says, I want to invite you mm-hmm. to come to Yeshiva. It's uh-huh. a place that you will learn the mysteries of the universe mm-hmm. and the humankind. So I said, Oh, yes, sure, sure, I just want to go, but where is Yeshiva? Where is this place that you are telling me? 
And then again, I remember that one of my friends, is he Jewish, he was spending the night here with me, and then he says, the voice told me again, Yahweh, ask your friend what yeshiva means. I mm -hmm. immediately, I did it. I just to stand up and I said, very, 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 that uh, what yeshiva means, and then he explained it to me. Mm -hmm. The yeshiva is the higher knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's a place for a higher knowledge. So I asked Yahse again, and I said, why me? And he said, well, because I choose you. Mm -hmm. I choose you to come to yeshiva to finish your education uh -huh. because of your love because of all those good things that you've been doing mm -hmm. and because you deserve it. Excellent. And since then, that we were talking yesterday, he gave me another message, and this message okay. is regarding um, positive and negative. All right. Then how bold they must. He says at the time he do his creation or painting creation, with that comes positive and negative. Both must be together because they belong to each other. Of course, if you have too much positive and, and you left the negative away, you will create an imbalance. Mm -hmm. And if you choose only negativity and you left the positiveness away, you create an imbalance. Mm -hmm. Both must be balanced all the time. Mm -hmm. That is uh, very much in line with what Jesus said recently. Uh, remember that Jesus um, channeling from, through Jim, he said, yes. uh, he, he had a very similar message. Yes. Now I wonder which of the Yahweh's is that. So basically there is, in Jewish tradition there is a, confusion between Yah Yahweh the creator and Yahweh the the being which made a covenant with Jews. Uh -huh. And and um I am I'm, I'm asking my friends uh, which one is that? And typically the answer is it's, it's one of many. Yahweh the creator and Yahweh the being is is the same thing. It can exist in many different uh, -huh. uh forms in the same time. Uh, also, uh, Lakesh said Yahweh is a being which lives on earth, and it's a spirit, a spirit being, it's, it doesn't have a body, and it's very isolated, it uh, isolates itself, it doesn't want to communicate with many other, with other, mm, uh, with aliens and other beings, so, so it has its own sort of life and purposes, but it is a benevolent being, so maybe this is the one which, which spoke to you, or again, it can be interconnected uh, spirit, which can can Correct. come in different forms. So, so I don't really know, but but I, I'm trying just connect to connect the points, which one and uh, how to interpret. Is it Yahweh of the Jews? Apparently, when he spoke about yeshiva, he referred to Jewish word at least. I don't know if he referred to Jewish yeshiva, but at least that he referred to a Jewish word, uh, yeshiva. And I don't know which yeshiva he meant in this life. Uh, Jewish yeshiva or in afterlife it would be spiritual yeshiva uh -huh. so I don't know the answer uh, I would try to start with Jewish yeshiva in this life why would you wait maybe maybe you go there and start and see how it feels because not all yeshivas speak in Hebrew uh, uh, reform yeshivas teach in, in English and uh, they use the Hebrew words but but most of the teaching comes in English so you can uh, keep up with that there, there for people like you who don't know Hebrew who didn't study Hebrew in uh, in in childhood, so they learn a little bit, but not much. The rabbis know, but but the the students uh, are typical Americans growing up growing up with with English. So so uh, reform yeshivas and uh, there are a few other forms of yeshivas which are uh, speak English as well. Like I think conservative also speak English. Mm -hmm. Another Tell me more messages. Tell me more messages. 
said something about um, Shekina. Shekina. I don't know what it is. Sounds familiar, but I don't know what it uh, is. So I Google it, like I said. I don't know nothing about Hebrew. Mm-hmm. And when he mentioned Shekina, so I went and I Googled it, and I find that it's a feminine side of God. Oh, wow. That is the uh, the um, the translation of what they meaning in reality. So I, I I was surprised, but like I said, I mean I been since I'm an early age, I start having messages. Um, yes, I will I will say also, uh, it was not it was not the author who talked to me when I was a kid. Okay. But it was. Other type of uh, uh, beans. Some of okay. those beans that were not the very living in the light. Mm-hmm. They were living pretty much in the in the dark side, if I can oh, say okay. it, or in the negativity. And of All course, right. they scared me so much. And mm-hmm. it was plenty, many many nights that I was so scared, you know, to fall asleep because I knew they were surrounding me. Mm-hmm. And it took me years to get over and to realize that that also they were close to me because they want to teach me something. Okay. And I stop fear them, and I start listen to them. And yes, mm-hmm. they they teach me a few things. And one day they leave me alone. They disappear. Oh. They never come back. When I'm surrounded most of the time, uh, angels or messengers. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, Some people call them angels, but uh, they're messengers in reality. All right. All right. And they send me messages through dreams or they talk to me. Okay. And I can hear the voice, and I remember because I see in your website when you say when a spirit or the um, ETs want to talk to you, it is like you hear, bum, the voice inside of your brain, very loud. Mm-hmm. And I remember seven years ago, one of my um, the spirit guides, he told me, uh, your sister, your sister is going to come. And yes, my okay. sister passed away next day. Oh, to come. Hmm. Yeah. I understand. And I knew he was a messenger because at the time that I was falling asleep, I saw him and he was wearing completely white. Uh huh. And it's one of the things that I noticed. Messengers pretty much all the time mm. wear white clothes. And they told me that I need to wear white. Mm-hmm. It is more like uh, that I'm there. I've been prepared. They've been preparing me okay. for something greater than this lifetime here on Earth. I understand that my mission here was to take care of those in need. Mm-hmm. Children in this case and the elderly. Mm-hmm. Try mm-hmm. to be there, mm-hmm. and I keep doing it. Um, if I can do it physically, um, I'm part of like a. I'm a member probably of six or seven different websites, in which I talk to everybody and I send a good morning note or okay. a, I love you card or something like that. Or I people see. who needs a prayer, I'm there uh-huh. to help them. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you channel? Uh, sometimes I channel too. The people who is all over, uh, they just cross over, and they uh-huh. want to give messages to their families. Uh huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you do that, are you letting them letting them in your body like Jim does, or are you just getting messages and pass them along? You, you don't. Uh, they don't. Entering into your body when when they do that. Well, it happened to me once. They um, it, it, the uh, the spirit yeah get inside of my body. 
Oh, only once. And most of the time they are not entering. Yeah, they're just speaking through you, uh-huh. to you. Is it, is, is it how it works? It happened once. And it was right. uh, um, my stepfather's son, who he passed away. Mm-hmm. And I was I was sitting there, and I feel that uh, mm. the heat came inside of me. I said, that's fine. If the purpose, if, the, if it's a legitimate purpose to give a message to someone, that's fine. Uh, do you have? A, do you feel anybody now who who would, who wants to give a message to us? I only hear the voice right now. It's Jaffe. Jaffe. Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. Uh huh. Say hi to Yahweh, and uh, I wonder if he can give us Yahweh. any message or blessing. He's sending you blessings. Thanks. He's blessing you and the job you. that you are doing. Thank you. He says that what you're doing is going to increase. It's increasing. Good. He says allow by your side, the people that you need. I see. Screening? I guess it's a screening. Okay. He said your children are being blessed. Yes. Can I ask him questions? Go ahead. Um, which yeshiva he meant? Was it yeshiva in this life or yeshiva in future spirit life or other lives? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, when he spoke about yeshiva to you, was it yeshiva in this life? She, I'm preparing her when she comes. Can you repeat? Her next stop. Not there, here. So it would be next incarnation on Earth? Yes, but it's not on Earth. Not in this life? Not in this life. Ah. Huh. So when he said to bring a lot of people in my life, now I'm talking about myself, uh, would it be in this face-to-face in, in, in this town in Rochester or would it be on Internet? I think probably what he was mentioning is that, that, that you need surround surround your your magnetic field Okay. With the right people, because you're you're you are increasing, like what you're doing right now. So a lot mm-hmm. of people coming from all over, from the four corners. They're coming because they need a direction. Mm-hmm. You need to allow and surround yourself. 
people that they can help you. Mm -hmm. Because you will increase too much and it will be too much for yourself only. That's right. You need, you will need counselors. Mm -hmm. You need counselors. Mm -hmm. So would it be people from around the globe or local people in Rochester? From all the globe. Mm -hmm. People that need, um, it is like uh, people are looking for new ways. Some people are tired of religion. Uh huh. They're talking from over, over and over and over the same, but they uh -huh. don't give them any answers. Mm -hmm. People wake up and people need answers. Humans, humans need answers. Kids, it's a lot of kids. Um, uh huh. Yes. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a lot of gifted children. You 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 can help them also. Oh wow! To increase their gifts, their abilities, their psychic abilities. Oh, how? He will show you the way. Mm hmm. I will thank you. I will welcome this. Thank you very much. Um, so is this, can, I, can you ask if this Yahweh is the one which made the covenant with the Jews? This, this is Shiva is the covenant between you, um, humans or, or covenant. Yeshiva is the higher knowledge mm -hmm. temple. Mm -hmm. You can see them because it's in another dimension. I see. It's a way so now, uh -huh. to understand the entire cre cosmos creation. Mm -hmm. To become enlightenment. Mm -hmm. I am now asking if he is the creator. Is Yahweh, who is speaking to me now, are you the creator? Yes. Thank you. Hmm. That's exciting. He says to balance your energies. Yeah, I know. That sometimes know. you get a little bit, uh, not desperate, but like you running and running and running, trying to cover everything. Uh-huh. Take it slow. That's right. I know. I know that. Probably Today was one of those days. Why he says that you need to allow. You don't like people. You you don't like. Oh, it's kind of a. You don't like. Be helped, huh? <sighs> often, often when people help me, I. I feel that they mess things up. Yes, that happens all the time. Yes. <laughs> I know. Yeah, he gets it right. Yes. Yeah, now it's exactly the moment where I need that advice because I'm trying to run everything myself and everything falls apart. I don't have enough time, not enough hands. I'm uh, I'm angry at myself and everything. Feel things fall apart. Yes. So that's perfect. Jacob says he will send. You will know in your heart 
because he will send the right people to surround you and you will know in your heart the persons or the people, humans or beings that you will keep. It's time of changes. You will must let go the ones that are not serving your purpose. You will be fine. Thank you. I guess now the next key question is, uh, is he communicating with our uh, friend L? Uh, group spirit called L. Is is they are they in communication with each other? E L? L, yes, E L. He says yes. Um does Yahweh confirm the plans for twenty twenty seven to melt down our economy? says in 2027 uh, the economy is going to melt down yes so Yahweh is familiar with that plan Yahweh says unfortunately humans create this uh-huh Every action brings every action brings reactions. Yes. If it's for the higher purpose for humans to become or humanity and not only humanity, it's a lot of a species and this creation who face the same situation or, or are, is happening in another world as well. Greediness. I understand. Please continue. This will help. Humans need, humanity needs to learn from their mistakes. And if that is the only way for learning, less than it will happen. The events so that come in there are unstoppable. It's only it all the events that are coming and that they were in the past and now in the future. Remember, future, past, it doesn't exist. It's only now, it's the okay. moment. What you create, you will reap. Right. The seeds. Of the creation. If the events are unstoppable, they have their own energy. Mm -hmm. Don't feel bad. Mm -hmm. There are too many guilty, and there are too many that are not guilty. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that you can do. Oh, that's Just the question. Just you're now, and your now is to help souls to wake up to yes. a different ways of thinking mm -hmm. and knowing their souls. Excellent. Yes, that's what well, he answered my question. Yes. So what can we do? Um, what is my biggest ignorance at the moment? What do I ignore? What? Where am I wrong? So he said I'm not allowing people to help me. Where, where else am, am I 
Ron, what should I learn? Where Where is my learning problem? When you think that you are not capable to do it, when mm -hmm. you already know that you are, why do you don't listen to your own heart? Listen. Quiet your mind and listen. Ah. You're capable. You're capable to do greater things. Trust in yourself. Quiet your mind. Listen to the wind, listen to the water. The messages are, are all over you, they're surrounding you. Everything has a voice, everything has a spirit. Everything is alive. Thank you. you. You got a good heart. I can see that, but this is this is not Yahweh talking. This is me. Mm -hmm. You got a you got a good heart. Thank you. That's for sure that you have it. So and I guess my is, he keeps saying that uh, quiet your mind. I hear him. I hear him. I think probably what he's saying is, and, and, and I understand, I mean, we are living in a planet which is it's a living or, organism, because it's a living organism. Mm -hmm. But because we live in the cities, and you know, with the sound of the cars and people talking and we completely forgot about to listen what is surrounding us, like the grass, the trees, the air, the water. There's always a message there. But that is my personal opinion. Can you also ask him if our alien friends are real? We are talking to... Everything uh, is real. Mm-hmm. Humankind was not the only, it was not my, the only creation. It's a mm -hmm. big painting. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Some of them are afraid to come. Mm -hmm. Like the way human or humanity is afraid. That's why she's that's why your website is so important. Oh, it is important. Yes. In which direction should we go now on the website? So basically one of the ideas I had to uh contact more channelers and invite more channelers to speak. Is it a good direction? Bring psychic children aboard. Mm -hmm. Help them to increase their abilities. Mm -hmm. If you start with the early age, it was going to be easier for you. I know. When you start with grown-ups or adults, 
most of them, they have the mindset. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult to... So it is like that you're trying to say something and you uh, crash to a wall mm -hmm. because that adult already have his mind is being set. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can, so your seeds are not going to grow there. I understand. I just today I contacted uh, a child who is channeling a yell. So that message comes right in time. And I was hesitant because that's a child, but but uh, he, he seemed to be very advanced, and I thought that it would be great if he could channel. And he was very very interested in channeling publicly, so he already has a YouTube channel. That is wonderful. Congratulations. Uh -huh. That is wonderful. Yes, thank you. So what does he think about my money problems? Uh, am I taking them too seriously? Am I taking them wrong? It about looks like, you know... About what problems, Mike? With money, the finances, you know, being very poor and not being able to be able much, to be able to do anything. Money is only paper. Uh-huh. There's no value. Uh -huh. You need to learn to stop thinking in a third-dimensional world. I understand you right now are, you've been putting in a third-dimensional world to make the change. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all the, the ones that we're sending here, They've been having the same, not problem, but the same circumstances. Uh-huh. Says so funds were coming your way. Oh. I, I don't know how. He only says the funds are coming your way. Be Excellent. patient. You will receive those. Excellent. Thank you. That's a nice message. I, 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 I'm so happy to receive it through a different channel because that message I already received several times, and uh, it's nice to get it through a new, from the creator and uh, and through a different channel. Uh, I want to run another idea. So basically, it's very nice to be independent of of people who control you. So to be free to do what you think is right to do. So having funds independent from mainstream seems like would be ideal. And I was praying today for gods to bring uh, business to our shop on the website. So people would buy stuff on the website and that would support the website. What does he think about that idea? Is the prayer to him or to L would be efficient? Or it is all wrong, wrong, wrongly applied energy? Stop worrying. Uh huh. Don't waste your energy in worrying. Don't worry. Okay. Everything that has good intention brings good results. Okay. Prayers. Prayers, if you, if when you say prayers, you can transform those and mantras. Mm -hmm. Mantras are beautiful. And mantras, mm -hmm. when you start saying mantras, you start bringing energy. Excellent. Positive energy. Yeah, development of that shop on the site was very creative. We're creating new products, and these products connect our people to help our people to connect to to the aliens and to gods. Yeah. So uh, 
I, I was I was happy to do that. That was a, a creative work. It was a creative work. We wanted to design something, and we are designing something new and interesting. Can you ask the the, the, the alien friends if they can give you music? Yes, yes. Jim is already working on that, and you we will invite the shop. Yes, we are doing that. And maybe other musicians will join us, so we'll have multiple. At some point, Lakesh sent to me, he sent his own songs and the songs of other blues. And I was amazed how similar those songs were to Earth songs, but obviously they were in their language and they were foreign, they were alien. I was sure it wasn't Jim making them up. So, so yes, um, that is happening. We can hear alien music and uh, hear and and uh, the melodies are similar in many ways. Uh, yes. Um, so I guess I have a question: To sure. whom should we pray? Should we pray to the Creator or or El or wh who would we address the the prayers and mantras? It says your heart knows the way. Uh huh. Ask your heart, but I, I'm guessing that probably what you feel more comfortable with, mm -hmm. and to make the request with the mantras, and because it's good energy, it's positive energy, it will, it will come back to you in blessings. Thank you. If all of us. All of you, I am the source. All of you come out from this source. Call it me, Yahav. And you will come back to the source in time. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Don't waste your energy. No worries. Thank you. Follow your instinct. Mm hmm I will support you. Thank you. I will support your idea. I will comfort you. Have my blessings, my child. Thank you. Is it appropriate to ask more questions now? Yeah. Um, did Jesus come from outside of your creation? Jesus is part of the creation. The creation, remember, is not only planet Earth. Right. His entire cosmos, different races. Did Jesus come outside of the cosmos? You call him outside of the cosmos. The universe is infinite. Mm hmm Yes, Jesus is a special being, a light, mm -hmm. high enlightenment one. Mm -hmm. That answers your question. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Today is my birthday, and yesterday I received a beautiful birthday present, present from uh, from the gods. I I was sick, and I went to a doctor who is a Ayurvedic doctor, basically Indian herbalist, Hindu herbalist. Uh huh. And he invited me to to their concert, 
and in the evening I went to the concert, and it was the happiest time during many months that concert because I was able to sing uh, Hindu mantras, and uh, that is what I wanted to do for a long time, and it is exactly my favorite way of singing and having fun. And it was a great crowd and was beautiful music. I had a celebration very unexpectedly. I didn't expect it to come, you know, now or soon, or even in that town. So, so, and, and now we can do that every every month or every twice a month. So, so that's a great um, uh, present for me. I'm I'm really thankful. So I'm thank thanking whoever whoever is involved in in the creation of that happiness. Do you suffer from a stress as a resonant? Of course. Do you stress yourself a lot? Of course. See, do you know already, you know, the stress is causing your illness? I know. It's because you create an imbalance in your hormone system. I know. And when you create an imbalance, you will suffer from illness. That's right. You need to balance that. Mantras? help you to balance that. That's why you're so right. comfortable around. I see my, my, magenta, magenta color, like magenta. Yes. I see around that, but I, I, I don't know. But I, I can see you uh, with that color. I don't know if you have decoration like that or something, but or the place that you visit, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Where do you see it? Oh, you are not seeing me on the video, right? So you see it in your mind. Yes. Because I was impre- I was under the impression that you see me now. No. I oh, I'm wearing I wearing uh, a lot of red color at the moment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, in my mind. <laughs> I see so, yes, in the it's, pictures it's and it's like their pictures are coming to my through my mind or through uh-huh. my third eye. We call it that way. I um, can see the cosmos is uh right now it's um, like a nebula probably. Uh huh. Beautiful. All right, uh, my time is over. My family is waiting me for birthday birthday lunch. Uh, we have uh, wow. they're waiting there and waiting have for me. A blessed, happy Thank birthday. you. Uh, and, and and you know, I'm I'm stretching myself. Do you thin. like Do you like chocolate cake? Um, do I like chocolate cake? That's a tough question. Chocolate and sweets make me sick. So I do love chocolate cakes, but I can't eat them at the moment. No, no, no way. Aww. I'm on a diet. <laughs> no, it's, I ask you because I was going to send you on a happy birthday card with a chocolate cake on, um, on front with candles saying happy birthday. That's that's great. Thank you. You are not going to eat the card. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so. Thank you. Um I think uh, it was a great present. I, I was again. I was running myself thin. I was tired. I was running out of time. Everything didn't fit well, and this conversation was a great, a great present as well. You know, it's not that often that you are uh, speaking to the creator. So, actually, that's the first time uh, he answered. Obviously, I, I spoke to him. I am speaking constantly to him in my dreams and my meditations, but uh, being able to hear the answers back was was, was fun and uh, profound. Profound fun. Yes, and thank you very much for that present. Um, Thanks to you. I've been blessed with your call. It's my honor. Uh, thank you so much. The honor is mine. Um, let's do Om. Can you, do, can you sing Om? Uh, let's do the OM and we'll direct it to 
the children in need for one minute and then I'll just stop the uh, stop the recording um Tiny birds. birds. Hummingbirds. Can you see the can can you see it with me? It has the meaning. Yes. It means you're surrounded by love, universal love. Uh-huh. Um Have a good day. Thank you and goodbye. Blessed to heart is Namaste to you. Namaste.